Hello and welcome to Delightful, Delicious, The Lovely. My name is Christina Elise and it has been a fucking long time. I haven't posted on here since May. I am suffering from, as you can see, COVID hair. I've only had one haircut in, since February. Uh, so I find myself in that in-between stage with my hair, with the color, with the length, with everything. And, uh, and I kind of don't give a fuck about that. I, don't, I barely see anybody ever. Um, I did a four-person Thanksgiving this year and managed to get myself exposed to COVID. One of the four of us, not me, one of the four of us uh, had been tested before Thanksgiving and got the results back on Friday after Thanksgiving, and he tested positive. So we all panicked, and I kept imagining that I was having life-threatening life symptoms, but I got tested uh, last week, and I am negative. So um, I really regret having let this channel sit dormant for as long as I have, but let's get back at it. Today I'm going to be making a cream cheese and cranberry sauce crostini. Um, you could do this with any other sort of soft vegan cheese. I'm going to be using this garlic herb tofu uh, cream cheese. And I'm going to be using homemade cranberry sauce. The recipe for the cranberry sauce is on this channel. It's super simple. You take a bag of cranberries and a whole orange with the rind and everything. And three quarters of a cup of sugar and put it in a... In a food processor and then leave it in the fridge overnight. It's raw, it's clean and crisp and not too sweet, great on wraps and great on this crostini sort of seasonal colors and flavors. So what I did was I took some crusty bread, I had the oven at 375, I, I sprayed these with just cooking spray or you can wipe them, you can uh, use a you know cooking brush and brush some olive oil on there if you have olive oil. This is just the easier way to go. In the oven at 375, toasted it on one side for five minutes, flipped them, toasted the other side for five minutes, and there you have it. This is a very simple recipe, and it is customizable. I'm going to be using, like I said, homemade cranberry sauce. I think that homemade cranberry sauce makes this next level. Your favorite recipe of cranberry sauce would be great. Uh, can would do in a pinch too. So all we do is this. I'm going to take this wedge of orange, and I'm going to rub the wet side of the orange, on crostinis or bruschetta. It is bruschetta and not bruschetta. I had an Italian friend who was horrified when everyone would say bruschetta instead of bruschetta. And many people correct me when I say bruschetta, but trust me, bruschetta is uh, accurate. It's, a, it's, it's the correct way to say it. So now on each of these, it has a little swipe of orange. I'm going to put a little swipe cream cheese. You could use, again, any soft vegan cheese. They make a lot of them now sort of like borsin or, or goat cheese, even make vegan goat, the goat, the vegan cheese market has really uh, come a long way since I started this channel. Um, I'm just going to do one at a time here, going to make this quick and easy. So we have orange wiped on this toasted bread, cream cheese, a swipe of cranberry sauce. I'm going to put, oh, I forgot one thing, shoot, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I forgot that I needed these pomegranate seeds. Pomegranate seeds are called pomeg they're called Ariel, A R I L S. Ariel, Ariel, Ariels. I guess they spell S E E D. They spell it A R I L S. So on my crostini, I have again a swipe of the orange, the cream cheese, the cranberry sauce, a couple of these pomegranate seeds, some chopped mint. I'm using mint. You could use parsley or basil. Mint is sort of, I don't know, if it feels Christmassy because it's minty. And, uh, and then a little bit of orange zest on top for color. And that is it. Put them on a little tray, like so, and, uh, and put them out and throw them out. You don't have to toast the bread if you don't want to. You can do it with just sliced bread. Uh, it might be a little bit more difficult to bite if it was not toasted. But that is that. That is my recipe for vegan cream cheese and cranberry sauce, crostini with pomegranate seeds. <laughs> that is that. Uh, okay, all right, well again, I'm sorry and I uh, hope you guys are staying safe out there. I hope you're wearing your masks. We will never get this idea that uh, we'll, we have to go back to normal and so we're gonna misbehave and not follow the guidelines. Just means we're gonna be closed for even longer. So, I mean, it's kind of confusing to me. This is so much worse. It's so much worse right now than it was in April and May, and yet we're still acting like it's normal. We weren't, we weren't acting like it was normal then, and it wasn't nearly as bad as it is now, and now we act like it's normal. Anyway, so wear a mask. If you don't wear it, for, there was, I heard a story of a wedding. A woman had a wedding reception of 300 people, 
and uh, seven people who knew people who had been to the wedding are now dead. People that went to the wedding are dead, but somebody they knew caught it from them, and seven people are now dead because 300 people went to a wedding reception. Uh, and I feel like an asshole because I went to a four-person Thanksgiving and uh, potentially spread it to two, two people who were clean my tight pod that I saw on Friday. I exposed them before I realized I had been exposed. Very, very, I felt very, very bad because I had done something I knew I shouldn't do, even though it was four of us. And I know I have, I have COVID fatigue too. Everybody's got COVID fatigue, but I did it and I felt like an asshole. Thank God they were, everybody's negative. Nobody, you know, maybe the guy who had it got a false positive. I don't know. Or we just dodged a bullet. We, <laughs> you know, the universe took pity on us. But um, yeah, so there. Be safe. Stay safe. And uh, until next time. Bye.